Yes, what's up, man? Boxing Combo giving you the other half of the main event on ESPN, 28th of September, 2009. Juan Urango versus uh, Randy Bailey. Main event. Juan Urango, 21-2, 116 KOs versus Randy Bailey, 35-6 and 35 KOs. Very good fight. Very entertaining fight. Randy Bailey was uh, very dominant during the fight, even though Juan Urango was the aggressor. At one point, very surprising to me, which I actually was betting on Randy Bailey, but uh, Randy Bailey knocked Juan Urango down to the mat around the 8th or 9th uh, uh, round. Juan Urango did look kind of dazed, but he does have a good chin. He came back. He came strong. He kept, he kept at Randy Bailey. Juan Urango with very good stamina. He kept up, and then all of a sudden, he took Randy Bailey down like in the ninth, 10th round. All of a sudden, it kept on turning into more of a Wang Orango fight and then they stopped the fight they stopped the fight even though Wang Orango had a nasty cut um, below his right eye on his, on his on his right cheek had a very nasty cut after going down in the uh, eighth or eighth or ninth round but anyway he came back he did a very good fight he uh, he tired Randy Bailey and Randy Bailey did get tired on top of that Wang Orango took Rayleigh Bailey to the mat in the ninth or tenth round it turned into a very good, good, exciting fight, and uh, they stopped the fight. Rand um, Randall Bailey stopped the uh, his corner, stopped the fight. Very good fight. Juan Rango won. Uh, well, technical knockout. And I don't know if, the, if there was a if there was a belt involved. I don't know if the uh, I think Juan Rango was defending his belt, but it was a very, very good main event. And Juan Juan Urango won in the uh, technical knockout. Very, very good fight. So y'all know a boxing combo, and uh, uh, my boy's gonna tell you a little bit something about, about what he thinks about the fight. Well, I just gotta say that Juan Orango is a very good fighter, but he has one problem. When he throws his punches, all his weight goes into that punch, and he just leans forward, and he's go, and his whole body goes with the punch. That's where he he loses his balance, and that's where he gets hits hits a lot. So, and he has an awkward stance. So, with that awkward stance, when he's punching, his punches are not all that fast. So, when he throws a punch, if there's a good fighter, an intelligent fighter, you can take, a, take advantage of him and just hit him in the face. That's all you gotta do. Hit him in the face and run. Hit him in the face and run. Beatty was doing that during the fight, but then he got tired and he couldn't run anymore. So, he tried another technique. He tried to stand in front of him. He Which tried to take bad. the shots. Yeah. But the thing is, he he underestimated under under underestimated Barango's hit. Barango's power. Barango's power. Yeah. And that was his his biggest mistake. That's why he lost the fight. But it was a very good fight. And all, all I can say is hey. that I hope Barango um, takes notes of that fight and tries to to better himself. And be a better fighter. Even though he did win. Even though he did and win, by but stoppage. I think it was. But a, he could have done better. He was. It was a, for me for Rango, for Rango. It was a sloppy fight. A sloppy fight because yeah. he got knocked down. And I always compare Juan Rango to a Ninja Turtle because he, he his back is like a, a turtle shell, <laughs> and then his head is stuck <laughs> into his body like a turtle, and he he's, he's never really looking upwards. So we can say he's a Latin Ninja Turtle. Yeah, he's a Latin. Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Boxing combo. My tube is too big. Coming at you. And that's our quick info. Uh, peace out, baby. Uh, bo uh, boxing fam, much respect. Uh, Y'all know, we catch you on the next one, man.